got a call at about two and uh, flew out is about 250 miles yeah, south. 250 miles. Uh, patient that was uh, compl had complaints of uh, or experiencing uh, radiating chest pain and uh, was recommended that we med medevac him back to uh, medical care here in San Diego. It took us about two, two and a half hours to get down there. Uh, and then basically got on scene. Uh, Josh put me down on the boat. Um, we hoisted a uh, nurse up to the helicopter. Then we hoisted the patient in a uh, backboard litter up to the up to the uh, helicopter. Uh, and then uh, once on once we got him in the helicopter, uh, the nurse and I uh, helped him medically. We just you know stabilized him, gave him O2. Overall, the hoisting was pretty standard. You know, it was, uh, when we got out there, it was a little bit windy, so kind of had to deal with that you know, getting the litter out out the door it's uh, it's like a big sail so you know, once that wind catches that thing it's kind of hard to hold on to it we utilize the trail line on all the hoists just to make things a little safer we had uh, we were pretty far down there so uh, once we got on scene we had to work relatively fast yeah I think we had about for, uh, 20 minutes 20 minutes for was uh, given gas time so uh, you know we just did our best to keep it safe and uh, work as fast as we could and um, we did that and so we had, a, we had a C-130 from Sacramento fly down and give us cover uh, while we did the, uh, the hoist and um, they uh, circled around us basically and just uh, provided us cover on the way down and then on the way back yeah, and also halfway. while we were on scene. So yeah, they were there too, we brought halfway back. It's always nice to have a C-130 uh, covering us up, especially when we're 270 miles or 250 miles south down in Mexico. And uh, we're, it's nice having comms with them and being able to communicate with them and have uh, some eyes over us. It also frees up somebody inside. It allows us to uh, focus more on what we're doing and not keeping our guard. As long as they have a visual with us, they can keep our guard and relay everything back to the sector. Transport them back here where uh, the fire department and paramedics picked them up and, um, and it got them in good hands.